This is the first time we're all seeing this. Why is it so awkward? Oh my god, I can't do this, I can't do this. Alright, cool. So I'm talking to a group of people. Yeah. Um Basically the reason why I'm doing this is because I want doesn't even make a noise. Today marks six years since I released my first video on YouTube. Here's six things I learned over the last six years. Enjoy. Number one. Numbers ain't sh In fact, I'll go as far as to say numbers don't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Let me break it down for you. Numbers in the context of YouTube is used as a metric to measure how popular you are. Depending on how popular you are, YouTube will reward you with money. Now, if you care about being popular and making money, then this will most likely be one of the biggest motivating factors behind your channel, but to the detriment of your content. And unfortunately, a lot of creators fall into this trap of sacrificing priceless creativity simply for a few extra digits. I believe if you're brave enough to execute your ideas without chasing the numbers, they'll eventually end up chasing you. Which leads me to number two. Consistency is key. In life, there are two types of people. Winners and losers. How you choose to define these groups is a matter of opinion. But one thing is certain. Winners are always consistent. No matter how long it takes, no matter how far you think you are from the finish line, you must commit to consistency. Because with consistency, you're bound to win sooner or later. But that's easier said than done. If it were that easy, there'd be no such thing as losers. So the question then remains, if consistency is key, what's the key to consistency? Number three, your reason why. Why are you actually doing this? Why are you putting yourself through this constant mental torture? This non-stop cycle of plan, shoot, edit, release, plan, shoot, edit, release, plan, shoot, edit, release. Without any real signs of progression either. I'll tell you why, because my motivation is bigger than any barrier anyone can ever throw at me. It's the single contributing factor for why I wake up every single day. That's kind of what you need to know at the very beginning. You can't enter this space blindly. And most importantly, you can't enter this space because you just want to have fun. You're in for a shock if you think that's the case. Number four, compare yourself to no one. I think one of the biggest reasons for why people start a YouTube channel is because they've seen someone they admire do it and for whatever reason, they somehow think the feeling they get from consuming their favourite YouTuber's content can somehow be replicated by making their own version of that content. It got to a point where I was even trying to learn how to skateboard. What's worse still is creating a channel to then replicate your favourite YouTuber's content instead of making your own. No, don't do that. I guarantee you'll find no form of happiness in replicating work that already exists. I never had any real purpose for making videos. So that was it. I stopped making videos. Instead, look within yourself and figure out what it is that you want to share with the world. And from what angle you want to share that perspective. Think of it like a piece of artwork. Nobody's paying to see a replica of the Mona Lisa. Number five, story is king. When I first started making videos, I was obsessed with pretty visual shots, smooth cinematography and perfectly timed editing. I soon realised, no one gives a f about your pretty looking visuals and your obsession to get the perfect looking shot. Videos are a form of visual expression. They're used to communicate a thought, to share an idea or to tell a story. These powerful pieces of content have the potential to change the world to change the way you think, feel, and ultimately live your life. I like to think of my videos as 
little tiny pieces of my brain that have been brought to life for people to dissect and examine in the hopes that my ideas will one day influence the masses. Number six, making videos is an endurance sport. This is something I picked up quite recently. If you combine the first five things I mentioned, you start to understand what it means to create content and most importantly, what it takes. The majority of creators will quit in their endeavours very early on. A handful will quote unquote make it. That's because they're the ones who truly internalise the concept of not if, but when. Success as a quote unquote YouTuber shouldn't be defined in the first six months, or in some cases, the first six years, but a constant redefining phase of what now. You need to understand that the beauty of this game isn't limited to just subscribers, views and making money, but how often you're able to churn out powerful stories. The process shouldn't be fun. It should push you to the absolute limit of almost tapping out. The process is painful, but that pain is addictive. Learn to accept it. Learn to love it. So those are the six things that I've learned over the last six years. Here's the six more. I think. Je suis à la hauteur de toi, accro à ton auteur et ta voix.